Hi there, it's Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School, back once more to show you some really cool tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Uh, today I'm putting together a little tune. Uh, I wanted to create something that was a, kind of touched on breaks and touched on kind of funky house and dubstep. Um, so I wanted to find some quite kind of tough sounds and uh, there's a Loop Masters sound pack that uh, I've got which is perfect for this. Um, definitely one of the best names for a sample pack I've come across for a long time. Loop Masters Bomb Squad Tactical, Tactical Beats and Sample Artillery. <laughs> and uh, this is put together by the guy that um, uh, founded Public Enemy, a guy called Hank Shockley uh, from New York. And uh, it's a really, really good pack, this. It's huge, absolutely huge sound pack. Um, huge library of different uh, folders of loops and sounds all under this kind of war theme going on. So assault weapons, you've got drums and effects. And uh, yeah, it's a very, very big library. And uh, I've kind of taken some of the sounds from here, some beats, some percussion, and some little samples, uh, some synth stabs and little loops to create this little sketch. And uh, if I play you what I've got, at the moment um, I've got five tracks here and I'll just go through them bit by bit. I've got the, the beats and the hi-hat here. And this gives you an idea of the kind of tough edge sounds that are in this sound library. Uh, what I wanted to do was create uh, something that kind of had the feel of UK funky a little bit and um, I added in a percussion, a uh, single percussion sample into Simpler and I'm using that as my snare. Now I guess one tr thing here is that you don't always need to use snare sounds to create a snare effect in your track or should I say a backbeat sound, a sound that either plays on beat 2 or beat 4 of the bar or if you're programming something with this kind of vibe, a kind of UK funky kind of vibe, uh, the programming what looks a little bit like that where we've got four of these snares per bar and we've got this kind of tribal rhythm going on. Okay, so that's my drums and then I added in a, um, a synth stab now this loop, what I've done, I've used clip envelopes here to pitch down the last of the stabs in the pattern. But this is just one of the basic loops that you get inside the Bomb Squad sound pack. And all I've done is customize it a little bit, just make it my own as I always try to do uh, with samples, just by transposing this last stab down by one semitone to create a slightly different melody. Lastly, we've got a lead part here. And this part is, uh, again, another little loop. I've shortened this, and I've also used a warp marker here to just move the play position of that series of notes to work alongside this synth stab. So they kind of question and answer one another. And that's always a good thing to do when you're working with the audio loops. Set a warp marker right at the beginning of the region of audio and just move it around the bar till it kind of fits alongside everything else that you're doing. Now for this tutorial, what, what, what I want to do is set up an effects rack. I'm going to show you how to put together two effects into an effects rack that both do very, very different things and how we can use those effects to enhance this lead element in this track. I'm going to load in here an empty audio effects rack and start putting some devices into the rack as chains. Uh, a chain is a single effects device. I've just loaded in erosion there. And if I open up the chain list, there's my first chain with erosion present on that chain. If I load in another effect, if I put in beat repeat as well, for instance, now I've got two chains, the first one with erosion and the second one with beat repeat. So the incoming signal from the lead element is going to be processed separately, independently, once by the erosion device, but also once by the beat repeat. And the amalgamation of those two, the total sum of those two effects devices goes to the rack's output. I've soloed the erosion device now inside the audio effects rack so we can just hear what that device is doing to the lead sound. Now erosion adds a digital style effect to any signal that we run through it by way of modulating a small delay uh, with either a sine wave or with a noise generator. 
Now the sine wave, we've got a frequency control here on the left and uh, an amount value and you can see that's moving the XY control on the main display of erosion. Now if I turn the, the amount up to just under 200 and just move the frequency value, let's hear what this uh, parameter does to the lead sound. And you can hear it's given me lots and lots of different kind of colors just by moving the frequency value and this is going to give this sound kind of movement over time what I'm going to do in the track is just work on that frequency amount and I can actually do that inside clip envelopes if I go into the clip and go into clip envelopes the frequency value is actually open ready for me now And if I put the main track on can get loads and loads of color effects there on the lead just by working that frequency value and if uh, inside clip envelopes if I unlink the envelope I can then program that over long periods 8 bars 16 bars um, to you know move that lead element over time now there's a tutorial video that I did a few weeks back on unlinking envelopes so you might want to reference back uh, to that video to see how I did that but that's a really nice little technique that will come in very very handy here Let's take a closer look at the second chain now, and uh, this is one with beat repeat in. And what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is set up the uh, beat repeat into gate mode. And in mix mode, we hear the original signal passing through the beat repeat device, and on top of that, we hear the beat repeat effect. In gate mode, we don't hear the original signal at all. We only hear beat repeat's effect as it triggers. Now, if I press play, I need to make sure that the beat repeat effect will actually trigger at the right time because see here the uh, lead synth plays midway through the bar so I need to go back to beat repeat and change this parameter here offset which will move beat repeats action to the right place within the bar now all we're hearing now is beat repeats effect if I turn the grid size up turn it to a higher grid setting will start to get kind of glitchy effects now in this instance I don't really want that I'm going to turn that down to 1 over 6 and just extend this parameter here the gate and that's just going to elongate the effect of beat repeat throughout the whole bar I'm just going to turn the volume down as well so we get that kind of thing which is similar to the original and to make it different, I'm just going to use the pitch control to take that down an octave. Let's bring the variation up so we get different grid sizes too. And now I've got a nice little rhythmic kind of pattern. And if I put the uh, erosion device in, or if I take the solo off basically, Now we're hearing the effect of both chains. We're hearing erosion. And we're hearing the effect of beat repeat as well. And because beat repeat is in gate mode, it's muting the original signal coming through beat repeat. So we get this nice kind of playoff feel between those two layers, the erosion and the beat repeat. Let's go back to the erosion chain and just work with that frequency amount again. Let's put the beat on. You can learn loads of cool tricks like this at pointblankonline.net and I'll be back again next week to show you some cool little tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Peace.